All right, so now that the Pat Closet Library has been out for a little while, I'm just going to do a video on exactly what makes it different than the default Mosaic library that you get. So you'd get Closets V12 with Mosaic. And besides just the description on my website of the Closet Library, it's a pretty good description. There's a ton in here. But basically what we're talking about is shared panel, full line bore, half overlay. Now there are deviations in that, but you know, you do have to understand that it is closets and sections. So, you know, check out the website if you haven't already, that's has the standard description, but let's just go into, let's get into the sauce a little bit more and talk about what actually makes it different. So if we go into mosaic, uh, we're just checking out a closet right now. You know, obviously it has led panels built into it. Uh, there's an Island it's, looks a little bit higher end, right? But it's still just a very standard closet. It has one of those 90 degree corners that we don't love, but sometimes we have to do them. Now this closet was made extremely easily. You could technically make the same closet with the closets V12. Uh, you could drag it out, uh, but you couldn't do it in the same manner. And what makes it, what makes the library so valuable? Let's start off, we'll just go through all the different sections. So, one thing that I love about it is obviously we have a settings template, right? So all the settings for the room are already set up for you. That's great. Like after, after install and you're messing around with this, let's take the slab doors, put the slab doors back in here. Okay. So we have all of our door material. We have our hinges. We can pick from a couple different kinds. Everything is underscore PAC. So you can find it very easily. We have our Richelieu 828, which are hybrid slides. All of this is filled out for us, so we can do hardwood or metal, which is nice. But a lot of the value in the hardware is just the fact that it's already chosen for you. You don't have to go out and find you know, which hardware, which boring spec, what, what you're going to actually set up. And that really comes in handy with the fasteners. So if we pull back up the pull the courses back up on my website, you can see the uh, closet hardware and accessories source list. So this has all the links that you need to get all of the hardware. You don't even need to buy the library to use this. Um, that's just a great resource for anyone, but all these things are already built into the library, right? So it's just kind of plug and play. Now let's go back to the library. So obviously, you know, settings cool, you know, you can set that up. Um, I do that during the one hour uh, setup right but you know some of the some of the bigger ticket items would be the library right so let's look at the library and kind of compare it to the v12 version which not knocking the v12 fine um but there's a lot there's a lot that you still have to set up there's a ton and depending on how automatic you want it and how easy you want this to be set up so i just open up the closets v12 we have some panels uh, we have a bunch of floor mount sections. We have wall mount sections. We have some like closet cabinets, which would be basically for uh, typically for islands. And then we have a bunch of other things like um, that kind of work, especially the 90 degree sections. They kind of work. It's decent, but let's check out the pack library. This thing is stacked. So we got the floor staining panels, right? All the standard panels. Now, I, I break down the entire library into 84s, 87s, and 96s. You want to go up to 108, you just change the height. But what's cool about this is we have continuous toe built into the panels. In the job parameters, We in the other category, we can turn on and off continuous, continuous toe. You've also got built-in LEDs. This is great for, this is really great for pricing. So the pricing is already in the LEDs. We have the left, we have a left, right, and a both. And then we have suggestions for LEDs that you, know, you don't have to stagger. You can do them back to back. So kind of kind of an impressive, you know, uh, display of panels. That's nice. Not too many options, but just enough to give your designer something to really work with. And then we break it down into floor standing sections. So as you can see, if we broke break open the 96, um, we have quite a few sections in here. Not an overwhelming amount, but just enough to build out like pretty much any room we would want. I'll let you watch some other videos if you want to get into that more. 
but just the sheer breadth, like the num the amount of sections in here that are really useful to use, it just has a nice flow to it. So I mean, you're saving hours right there just by having an organized library. Ton of value. We also have wall wall mounted panels and sections, and we have islands as full boxes or panels and sections, thirty six and forty two tall. 14, 16, 19, 24 deep. All the different sections in here. I'll kind of pop them open for you. There's videos on how to use it. It's very simple. I can also cover it during setup. Now this is nice too. We get the upper stack. We have separators for upper stacks. We have LED separators. So much stuff in here. And then we have the hutch bases and uppers. Okay, super useful. We got the bench panels and sections, that's simple. Desk panels, simple, but it's just nice to have. And then you have a sub assemblies, right? So all the order tab stuff. And you know, we've got a notch ceiling trim, shout out to Nick Frost. We have linear crown, eight foot, eight foot toe, under cabinet panel, we have a corner true left, shelf and rod. So we just have a huge product library, right? So if you're still listening, if you haven't like drifted off and, you know, picked a different video to watch already. Uh, let's go over insert library, construction method, construction methods, and the modular sizes as huge value for just training a new employee or even training yourself to set up a room and just have it ready to manufacture. Because it's crazy. Once you start off-roading with the basic library, you can really screw yourself by uh, adjusting a panel incorrectly. And now, your outriggers, your cam connectors don't fit into the line bore. You've shifted them now. Uh, so those are a few of the things. Let's just do job parameters first. So if you look at the other category, all of the LED parameters are all controlled in the other category. So that controls your inserts and all of your panels, which is just really nice to not have to go into every each individual panel and adjust the LED. You can if you want, you don't have to. Uh, we also have this toe reduce, continuous toe notch. We have this hang notch skin, which is really dope. So when you're using a hang rail for wall, wall hanging cabinets, it just doesn't cut all the way through. This is just built in all the panels. So you don't have to really have to think about this stuff very hard. Uh, there's some custom parameters in there. They just kind of sit in the background, not too important. And then everything else is just streamlined. So for example, if we want to turn on the 3D, we want to turn on full backs, then you can just go into the job parameters, turn on full backs, and I mean all, all your backs are going to come in as inserts. You can also turn on the fasteners as well to go in there. Now that's like a that's a very simple example of you know value in the library. Um, but that's one hard lesson you don't have to learn. You can just, it's just set up for you. So after construction method, there's also modular sizes. So let's check this out. This is pretty cool. We'll go up to libraries and products and then down in modular sizing. So these are all the sizes that you would need to make modular heights work correctly, right? These are all built in. It's built in for the face heights and the depth. I don't mess with modular widths because it's just it's pain in the butt. We don't need it. All right, so <clears throat> what else is in here? So we got construction methods. The insert library is pretty stacked. That's definitely some value there. The joint fasteners are insane. So you don't have to really interact with them much. But if you really need to, they're there for you. Those joint fasteners are built out crazy. So we got the back closet inserts. Uh, we've got Hayfala adjustable LED shelves and the shoe fence. That's an automatic... Uh, adjuster. There's a video on this. It's super cool. I mean, that's 180 bucks right there. You get a free free training hour with me. Um, if you're still listening. You want to finesse a little extra time with me? I'll do that too. I don't care. I'm really just in it to, um, you know, sell this sweet library and set people up for success. What else do we got? Joint fasteners. No flip ops is kind of cool. You know, it's it's not hard to set up the mosaic one with no flip ops, but I mean, a little bit. So 
I guess no flip ops is just a cool perk. Let's go into hardware and we'll look at fasteners. I haven't got to the pricing yet either. So pricing is just like, cool. How many hours are you going to spend trying to set up pricing? Or you could just spend like 20 minutes understanding it during our setup. All right, so don't look at all these. This is like my system, right? There's just too much extra stuff in here. But the ones that you'd be getting are like the hangrail, um, the insert backs, the base and tall, full back, variable toe, the wall. Drawer is kind of a phased out one. I also have a couple of drawer boxes in here that are really useful. And then four pricing templates. The pricing templates are fun. If you want to know more, just reach out. I'll make a video of eventually. Um, but one of the biggest values that I haven't been talking about much lately is that there is a 3D design app coming that's going to uh, complement the library really nicely. So basically, it's the first of its kind that actually works for your dealer network. So your designers don't have to learn Mosaic. They can learn this app and then send the design to you and you can import it into Mosaic. Like this is just mind blowing stuff that's coming. And I'm giving out a little newsletter here in the end of this video. Other than that though, I mean, there's just, there's just a ton of value to be had in the library and um, it's achievable with obviously the Mosaic Closets V12. But it's going to take you, I mean, it'll take you 30 or 40 hours or maybe 20 hours of training. You could do 10 hours of training maybe, but you're not going to get like, not unless you feed the trainer all of these panels. Like Mosaic has some great trainers for closets. Um, but this thing is stacked. There's just so much that goes into it. And yeah, that's the main differences. So maybe a little more info than you wanted, but there it is. I'm sure there's some things that I'm forgetting. But that's that's about it. Thank you for listening. Go ahead and like, subscribe, or you know, tell your friends about the library. It's a super cool opportunity. Oh, and attack a little bit and right on the end. Also partnering up, you know, loosely with uh with Lee Miller from uh Contractor Chaos. And um he's got some He's got some pretty cool things to add to the equation. So I'm kind of the manufacturing side. He's the he's the sales and finances end of things and basically just creating a full system so you can get off the ground and start making money. So a little bonus there. All right, I'm leaving now for real. Bye.